Hello everybody and welcome to the bonus video of Banjo-Tooie. For this one, we're just gonna go and do the boss rush replay. So we're gonna try to fight every single boss in the game again, but this time we'll have to do it with minimum HP, the minimum amount of eggs and feathers available to us. And yeah, uh, yeah, it's just, it's gonna be basically hard mode in that regard. The, I mean, the early bosses are still gonna be pretty darn easy, but we won't have the benefit of uh, honeycomb upgrades nor any cheat codes. So that should be interesting. That'll make some of the bosses extraordinarily difficult. Anyhow, let's take this one at a time. We'll start with Klungo 1, first boss of the game. He's like the tutorial boss, I guess. Klungo, the minion with a mission. I like how his like subtitle changes depending on which fight it is. <laughs> if it isn't the Baron, Bird will cause so much trouble to Mistress Grunty. Hmm, I don't recall anything like that happening. <laughs> you is stupid. At least we can speak properly. <laughs> Klungo is mad now. Your game ends here. Now, I can't remember, is he gonna... Okay, red potion, so he's gonna grow big, just like he did at the beginning of the game. Yeah, now Klungo Squash Bear! Yeah. Clever Klungo hide behind magic shield, now show bear my special potion. Yeah, Klungo is... very easy. The only kind of tough part is, like, you have to wait until he's absolutely fully grown before you can attack him. Otherwise, you'll just bounce right off him. I also realized Plungo's one of the only bosses in the game who, like, you don't see his health bar. I mean, it would only be free, but still. That is interesting. Yep, very, very easy first fight. <laughs> Nasty Baron Bird hurts, poor Klongo. You asked for it. Why don't you run off and we'll forget this ever happened? Yeah, good idea, but you not seen last of Klongo. Klongo coming, mistress. Please beat failure Klongo with broomstick. Aw, oh, poor guy. At least he becomes an indie developer. <laughs> Alright, let's do the second Klongo fight now. Yeah, every time we see Klongo, he gets a different subtitle, and he gets more and more beaten up, which is sad. Klongo, revenge-seeking minion, instead of minion with mission. Oh no, not you again! <laughs> Mistress said Klongo must stop you or I get more beatings. Oh, uh, we'll give you a beating too. No, Klongo win this time. Has no potion to try. This should be the... Um, okay, so apparently the potion he uses is random when you do replay mode. When you play him in story mode, um, it is... It depends on the file. So file one is always red potion, then yellow potion, then blue potion? Or does he... No, red potion, green potion, blue potion. But that, that'll change depending on the file, but apparently if you do replay, it'll be totally random which potion he uses for the fights. That's fine. Big Klungo is easier than Clone Klungo. But you'll notice when we got hit, we had fewer honeycombs than we did in story mode when we were at this point. Baron Bird beats poor Klungo again. It can't be good for your health, Klungo. Why not retire? No, mistress needs me. Klungo return for more beatings. Then work on new potion. Alright, let's see what potion he uses for the third fight, then. Hey, Kazooie, there doesn't appear to be anyone in here. Oh, yes, there is. The music's changed. Every time that happens, we always end up in a fight. Yarr, Klungo must 
defend Mistress Grunty Castle. Career questioning minion, and indeed he did. Don't you ever learn? Klungo Clever learned lots, has learned new potion. Is it as useless as all the others? Yes, uh, Klungo means no, must win this time or mistress feed me to monster. Green potion, I believe this is the clones. Nope, that's the invisibility potion. Yeah, we only have five honeycomb pieces now. Oop. Uh, boop. Oh! The floor is made of ice, apparently. Ouch! We also only have ten gold feathers. Yes! I sniped him! <laughs> That's great. So we never saw Clone Klongo. That's okay. Klongo noticed something happening after fight Super and Bird. And that is? Klongo gets less and less handsome. Now Mrs. Klongo won't want me anymore. Klongo had enough. Alright, that's enough beating up Klongo. Now we get to the exciting fights, starting with Target Zan. I really like the Target Zan fight. Target Zan's really sacred chamber. Look, Banjo! There's another Jiggy! This is just too easy! Yup! We'll have the game finished in no time! Halt, mortal. Thought you'd get another Jiggy that easily, eh? Target Sam, the despotic Dizzy Totem God. I am Target Zan, mighty Mayan god of target shooting. Prepare to meet thy dart ridden doom. One nice thing, though, is we actually get all the different kinds of eggs for these replay fights. We actually have all the moves. Not that they do anything for this fight. Regular eggs are just as good. Dog, oh, I can't feel my legs anymore. Get him, you worthless Moggies. And similarly, when taking on the Moggies, we have the Beak Bayonet as well. So that is kind of cool. It is a bit hard mode, but also at the same time, you do have some moves for these fights that you didn't have in the past. Where the heck is the Ma- Oh, he's following me. So again, just keep your distance and strafe, and you should be fine. Also, avoid- try to avoid having the Moggies spawn on top of you. So I feel like if we have all the moves in the game for these boss fights, especially the early ones, it actually will make the fights a little more interesting. Doggone it, the boss music in this game is epic. Like, all of the boss music. There we go. But again, 5 HP runs of the bosses is gonna be interesting, even with all the extra moves. No, oh, you've beaten me. Now suffer as I invoke my sacred self-destruct. I'll show you what happens if you don't hide from this. Wow, he missed. <laughs> A dart flew right at me and he still missed. And yep, that's target, man. Alright. <laughs> Here's one fight that'll actually be easier on the replay compared to how we fought him in the game, Old King Cole. He was already the easiest boss in the game by far, but oh man. Just you wait. I wonder what's under that big pile of coal in the corner. Maybe it's a Jiggy. <laughs> Old King Cole, the grubby boiler monarch. 
I love his design, though. <laughs> Who dares enter old King Cole's boiler? <clears throat> I'm Banjo, and this is Kazooie. We want to use your train. <laughs> you would, huh? In that case, I'll fight you for it. But you're supposed to be a merry old soul. <laughs> Not me, pal. But you'll soon be feeling my merry old soul on the top of your puny heads. This fight's gonna be laughably easy because we have a grenade eggs and more importantly we have ice eggs. So grenade eggs do six damage to him. Ice eggs. Let's see how you can cope with a little heat. Ah, no great loss. I've still got another. Ice eggs. Yeah. Ah, but I don't need arms to beat you. Ice eggs and grenade eggs both deal. I believe eight damage to him. Ah, uh, perhaps we should sit down and talk about this. But I don't like grenade eggs. Ice eggs, you can fire rapidly. So, um, yeah, he's just dead. <laughs> oh, okay. Perhaps I'll let you use my train after all. But don't you dare hit anything. I've only just polished. <laughs> yeah, ice eggs just absolutely destroy him. Alright, now it's time to face actually one of the tough bosses. Mr. Patch. Possibly my favorite boss from the entire game, but yeah, he's a tough one. Where do you think our seat will be? I can't see any seats. Perhaps we're supposed to sit on that this big lump on the floor over here. Does it look very comfy? I love the sound of him inflating. Oh dear! Not more intruders! Well, I'll show you who's boss! See how big and strong Mr. Patch is? Pa! You're not all that big, really. That Klungo freak near the start was probably bigger than you. Oh yeah? Well, how about this, then? Whoop! Mr. Patch, the strange, wobbly, inflatable thing. One of my favorite taglines for a boss. I suppose you think you're clever, don't you? Well, one doesn't like to blow one on own trumpet. Gulp, oh, I sense a battle coming on. If you insist! So this fight's gonna be a lot harder. Low HP will make him difficult, and also the fact that we can only carry 25 grenade eggs at a time, but the 50 will make him a little more annoying as well. We're gonna have to refill on them. Oh, you found the weak spot! Looks like I might need some help here. You'll have to beat me from the air now! You technically can still attack him from the ground, but those mole hills will pop up near you and try to punch you, so it makes it a little annoying. So we- besides, it's so much more fun to do this fight while flying. Also, this is literally the best boss he's gonna hold in. Honestly, the main reason I damage in this fight is not from his attacks, but from shooting too close in order to get proper aim and then blowing myself up with the grenade eggs. And the demented circus music that plays during this fight is just absolutely phenomenal. Alright, we've already got a lot of his patches destroyed, which is great. Uh-oh, pull up, pull up, pull up! Yes, there we go. I like how anytime you bump into him, it can give you altitude. Alright, he only has three patches left. I think they're just all on his face. One of them is on the top, on the tip of his nose. Uh-oh, yeah, we just blew ourselves up. I also think he gets faster every time you blow up one of his patches. Yeah, you can see we only have eight grenades left, so we might have to refill eventually. Oh, I didn't know you could shoot his bouncy balls out of the sky. Okay, he, has, he only has one patch left. And it's actually a pretty big one. I think we'll try to take out his final patch from the round. Also, man, that sound effect that plays when he spits balls at you. 
Oh man, he is he's a fast little bugger now. You just have to keep moving on the ground. Dang, he's good at leading his shots. Okay. Yeah, you you need you you, you should you you should take him out in the air, not on the ground. It's a lot easier. I forgot how fast he gets when he's at only one HP. Come on, show me your good side. Yikes! Oh my gosh, I'm gonna I'm gonna lose. He's not showing his patch. He's being smart. Come on. Come on. Yes! <laughs> wow, that was so close. Uh-oh! Vox like trouble! That is, that is my favorite boss from the game. That is Loki, one of my favorite bosses of all time. Phenomenal music, phenomenal fight, great design, great sound effects. Oh my gosh, he's fantastic. Okay. This is where fiends are gonna get really, really tough. Let's try to take on Lord Wu Fak Fak. Oh my goodness. No homing eggs. No torpedo. No, no submarine. And 5 HP. This is gonna be the tough one. Hey, Banjo! I can see a jiggy down there! Let's take a look! Lord Wu Fak Fak, self important anglerfish. What? Who dares intrude on Lord Wu Fak Fak while he sleeps in his appallingly cramped locker? Oh, uh, we've just brought some mail for you, Lord Fak. Don't lie to me! You were going to steal my jiggy and drain my home, leaving me to flap pathetically around on the bottom until I shriveled up and died, weren't you? Ah, something like that. Then a watery grave awaits you! Oh my goodness. This is gonna be tough. Honestly, the toughest part of this fight is not Lord Wu, it's the camera. The camera's really bad in this fight. Although Lord Wu is definitely... Definitely tricky. I make the argument that this guy's the toughest boss in the game. Hag one is second, but... Once you know you can strafe, Hag one's not that hard. Hey, my precious boils! The problem is the boils on him have... They have wonky hit detection at times. Uh-oh! Oh no. Also, the fact that it's pitch black in here does not help make him any easier. There we go. Okay. Had to. I had to wait for him to move away from me a bit, so that way uh, I wouldn't blow myself up. Because you really gotta watch your HP in these replay fights. Oh no. If It is very easy to get stuck in his mouth. And if you do, he will electrocute you. All right. I think, yeah. I think I'm gonna exit first person mode when he starts attacking me. Just to get a better vantage point. Because the camera's really bad when you're in first person mode. So man, it is so difficult to aim while you're underwater. I also hate how you have to kill his boils in a specific order. Like you can't just blast them all out. You have to only you can only blast the one that's glowing for some reason. The one that's glowing with pus. Yes! I thought he was gonna turn around for that. Alright, where is that last glowing boil? Alright, it's, oh, it's also on his... His left, my right. Alright, 
let's try to swim around the outside and then blast him from a little bit far away. There we go! Okay, yeah, I think the key for this fight is just knowing when to exit first-person mode. You definitely don't want to be in first-person mode the entire time. Alright, hey, Lord Wu. But man, I hate... Honestly, I can cope with the bad camera, but the bad camera and the dark room make it really annoying. Woo! Have you no sympathy hitting a poor blind fish? Time I opened my eyes to see what I'm doing. Alright. Now here's what we gotta do. I'm gonna try to stun lock him in place with the grenade eggs in his eyes. Please, not my eyes! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no. Yeah, his his jaw just can stun lock you in place where you keep bouncing off of it over and over again, meaning you're a complete sitting duck for his electric attack. Oh my gosh, is he shooting bubbles at me? Oh no, I forgot. He has really good aim now with those things. Alright, but we got a refill on our grenade eggs, so... Ugh. No! His teeth and his fins can just stun lock you in place. It's super annoying. What the heck? Why couldn't I hit him? Does he have invincibility frames? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. What the heck? I didn't hit anything and it still bounced me off of him. Can we hit his eyes from the back? Also, do we need to use grenade eggs? I believe we do. No! Oh, that's it! Oh, he can trap you in the bubble. Oh, that sucks. Alright, we gotta grab the HP and hope that he doesn't trap us in here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Banjo. Thank goodness the replay fight at least gives you unlimited air. I mean, this fight would be downright unfair if you didn't have unlimited air, but... Oh, yeah! I forgot about the Talon Torpedo. I don't think that does anything for this fight, though. I've never tried, though. I ain't trying for the first time in the replay fight, though. I rem... This is weird, because I remember him being really easy once you get him down to just his eyes. But for some reason, like, I remember you could just, like, shoot him in the eyes over and over and over again, and then he would just die, but that's not working out this time. Doesn't help that the hit detection in this fight is really, really bad. Like, look at that! I literally blasted him directly in the eyes, and it did not register as a hit. Hate that. No! <sighs> dog, dog, got it. Ugh. Do you want to play again? Yes, I'm gonna beat this lunatic. Back again, don't you know who I am? Lord Wu Fak Fak is going to destroy you. 
Literally, like, everything about this fight all combines to make a very unpleasant experience. I love this game, but this fight is not one of the parts of it. Oh, come on! I especially hate how he literally just moves in such a way that you always end up in his mouth, and then you just get stunlocked in place, and you can't do anything. Aha! You're like, look! I was point-blank from his eyes and blew them up, and he's just like, That didn't hit! Yes! Where is he? Where is he? There he is. Oh, that's annoying. Wait, what hit me? Did his electric attack? I didn't see it. Because you have to be you have to be the perfect distance from him, I think, in order to actually hit his eyes. If you're too far away, you're not gonna be able to aim properly. If you're too close, then you just can't hit them. This is massive jaws in the way. Look. time. Oh, come on! That was a dead-on hit. And nothing was in the way. Uh-oh. No. Don't swim into the corner. That's bad. At least his... Okay, his electric attacks, if you're far away, they aren't gonna hurt you. If you just keep swimming. I truly believe this guy is tougher than the final boss now. Nope, that's not what I said to do. There! Die, you stupid fish. That fight could have been fun if they had uh, changed, like, five different things. Turns that his feet seem to have gone belly up. 100 years of oceanic tyranny brought to an undignified end. Yeah, you deserve it. Uh, uh, all right. Next, Terry. With 5 HP, Terry actually could be terrifying. <laughs> Give me back my eggs, you filthy light-fingered bear! Uh, what eggs are those? Don't play the fool with me! I want my eggs back or else! Or else what? You're due to become extinct soon anyway. Maybe so, but not before you two! Terry, the disgruntled pterodactyl parent. Yeah, because Terry has very good aim with his mucus attack. Grenade eggs will make short work of it, no? Those eggs hurt! I'm off for a rest! While the mucoids soften you up! I think we're gonna use Wonder Wayne in vulnerability then. It gets refilled every fight, so why not? Hey! Where did all my snotty buddies go? You've stolen them! Just like my precious eggs! Okay, if you're running full speed in one direction, then Terry's gonna shoot it really far in that direction. That's good to know. All right. Terry is actually a, has a giant hitbox, which is good. Terry actually beat me up real bad in story mode. Almost killed me. That's because I didn't know how to properly lead the shots. Also, I didn't use Wonder Wing to take out the mucoids. But why would I not do it here? Because we get full 10 feathers after every fight. Our HP and all of our supplies get refilled in the fights. 
Oh man, that, that makes Terry so much easier. Stop it! I've had enough! Okay, that was actually, that was significantly easier than Lord Wu Fak Fak. Sorry, Terry. You're actually a pretty nice guy. Just under a mistaken impression. Oh boy, okay. So now it's time for Weldar, and while Lord Wu Fak Fak is definitely gonna be the toughest fight just because of how unfair he is, Weldar is gonna be just extremely difficult for legitimate reasons. Oh boy, it is gonna be tough. But this is one of the fights I'm looking forward to because it's gonna be a good challenge and not a stupid challenge. What on earth is that? Ah, uh, I think it looks like an enormous toilet cleaner. Well, he doesn't seem to be very mobile. See how the poor thing struggles to get in here? This shouldn't be much trouble then. Oh, if only you knew how mobile Weldar is in this fight. <laughs> Weldar, the visually impaired welding torch. Ahem. I believe it states quite clearly in the workers' guidelines that bears are not to be let into the building. So? Well, you're a bear, aren't you? Uh, no. Oh, I must remember to wear my glasses. Well, I'm out now, so I might as well go to work on you. Alright, Weldar, he's gonna be a tough fight. Time to turn up the power dial, I think. Yeah, only 5 HP for Weldar. Oh yeah, this is really a toughie. You'll have to come closer! I can't see to hit you. Oh, please refrain from doing that. I'm full of flammable gas. How about a few nuts and bolts? Well, we got just the thing for that. Yep, grenade eggs work just as well against Weldar as fire eggs. Perhaps if I used my weight. Don't make me come after you! Whoa! That's a deeper version of Boggy's Wahey from Banjo Kazooie. Alright, first phase is over. That's the easy part. This isn't going as planned. Where's my emergency switch located? That's better. Now let's see how nimble you are. Yeah. Once the floor gets turned up, ooh, he's much more difficult. Alright. Thankfully, if you're far enough away, he can't actually suck you in, so that's great. There we go. Alright, this fight's not as hard as I was expecting. Oh, but this part, I have to make sure he doesn't land on me, otherwise that takes away all but one of my health. He wahays into the center. And now we just spit one final egg into him, and that should be game. Yes! Okay, that was actually a lot easier than I thought. Oh well, looks like my welding days are over. Okay, Weldar actually, once you know his pattern, is not too difficult. I'm kind of surprised about that. But that's cool, I get to go back and kind of show you guys more optimal ways to beat these guys. Except Lord Wu Fak Fak, there is no optimal way to beat that guy. Okay, only four fights left. 
So I believe we're starting with Chili Willy, who's the Ice Dragon. Yep. So it might be the Ice Dragon is easy. I can't remember how the Ice Dragons and Fire Dragon are in replay, if one of them is tougher than the other. Chili Willy, the Cold and Icy Dragon. Ah, at last. You must be the pizza delivery boy. No, just the local Jiggy Hunters. Lies. I bet you've got my 12-foot anchovy deluxe in that backpack. Afraid not, Wartface. Then I'll eat you instead. Okay, nope, Ice Dragon is definitely still the toughest of the two. Hey, it burns! I wonder if they're both going to be tough, or if one is going to be still easier than the other. Let me have just a little taste. No. Yikes! Ouch! Green tons are apparently acidic. Ouch! Thank you, Cannon. I, I was wondering if it was going to be the hot and fiery dragon, Chili Billy, who was going to be the tougher of the two. I feel like that makes more sense. I feel like fire is more dangerous than ice, but... Okay, that, that one, you didn't aim too well on that one, buddy. Ouch. Uh-oh. Hey! 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 Alright. Yeah, this is a tough fight. This is a toughie. With only 5 HP. They did not like how I just obliterated old King Cole, apparently. Oh, shot it in too early. Alright. You can time the flip flap pop properly, then you can avoid that. Alright. I kind of hope the Fiery Dragon is also tough, to be honest. Because that would be a massive step down in difficulty from Chili Willy if, if it wasn't. Goodbye. That's a, that's a tough fight, but I like that. That's a good difficulty. Stop it! I've changed my mind. Forget the pizza, but I'm sure my brother would still want his. Oh, that's interesting. So he, ha he has the dialogue of being the first dragon, but he's tough as the second dragon. Now which way is it to the fly through McJiggies? I want to go to McJiggies. Or Culver's. <laughs> Alright, Chili Billy. Let's see if he's difficult or if he's easy. Also see what the dialogue is, if it'll be the first dragon dialogue or the second. Chili Billy, the hot and spicy dragon. At last! You must be the pizza delivery boy. No, just the local Jiggy Hunters. Lies! I bet you've got my 12-foot hot and spicy meat special in that foot backpack. Ah, uh, afraid not, Warface. Then I'll eat you instead. Oh, nope. He's the easy dragon. Man, <laughs> so cold. Okay, this will, this will be an easy fight then. I'll soon have you licked. Well, he's already dealt as much damage as Chili Willy. But that is just me being stupid. Aw, oh, yeah, invulnerability frames. Sorry, Chili Billy, that was easy. Enough. I've changed my mind. 
forget the pizza, but I'm sure my brother will still want his. Hmm, I reckon I'll go get a couple of Big Al burgers. It would be funny if you saw him at Witchy World afterwards. That would have been funny. But alas, okay, just two fights left. Time for Minji Jonjo. He actually might be tough in replay mode with only 5 HP. We'll see. Hello, Banjo. Mambo has a big surprise for you. Ooh, I like surprises. Thanks, Kazooie. You totally did that on purpose. Har har har, foolish bear! You fell straight into my trap! I'm not that pathetic shaman you think I am! I'm Minji Jonjo, and your worthless quest ends here! As you can see, there's no escape, and resistance is futile! So actually, we only have- oh. Didn't even give me time to ride a tat wrap you. Bzzar! My elaborate disguise is ruined, revealing my evil cyborgness! So we actually only have 4 HP for this fight, because he kill he hits you in the cutscene. As far he's not that difficult, he's still... I love how it's the remix of Mumbo's theme though. It's fantastic. I remember these shots homing in on you. Maybe that only happens later in the fight. Yeah, he- I don't know what- some people say that this guy's like the toughest fight in the game, or one of them. He's not. He's easy. <laughs> Zarr, I calculate my chances of stopping you are now minimal. I still wish that Mumbo himself could fight Ninji Jonjo. That would be an amazing fight, even though Mumbo's attacks are really bad. He would still be able to fight Ninji Jonjo, though. That's a fight that Mumbo could have easily done, and that would have been awesome. Oh well, yeah, Ninji Jonjo is easy. I don't know. I don't know what anybody says. At, at first, I thought when I realized he could be an Ivor Skull, I thought it was if he was in the Blue Skull, he was super easy, and if he was in the Red Skull, then all of his hot shots homed in on you, which makes him a lot more difficult. But nope, he's just easy. All right, final boss, Hag One with five HP. This is going to be tough. <laughs> oh, looks like there's no one here. Oh, we should go home now. Wow, it's one heck of a view from up here. Sure is, but doesn't it seem strange that Gruntilda isn't up here to meet us? Obviously chickened out. Uh, I've enjoyed our adventure, but let's get back to the card game. It would be cool if you unlocked the card game after getting 100%. Like, <laughs> there was a poker minigame. That, that would have been funny. Hag one, monstrous mechanical mud muncher. Uh, banjo. Nope. Look at the size of that. I'm sure it wasn't that big before. <laughs> Got bigger for replay mode. How could we have missed it? Because you were facing the sky and didn't look anywhere around you. You literally just looked in one direction. Finally, after two years, revenge time. Don't bet on it, Bone Brain. We'll see, little bird. We'll see. Where's the laser button? Darn it! Someone passed the manual for this thing. Ah, yes, here we go. Yeah, Hag won with only 4 HP, or with only 5 HP. It's gonna be a tough fight. I must say, I do think Banjo-Kazooie has a better final boss, but this one is still really good. Thought the quiz was over, did you? Think again, I've still got quite a few question cards up my sleeve. Answer correctly and maybe I'll go a little easier on you. 
What color is my scarf? It's it's purple. It's actually pink. Drat! That's correct! It'll all use my slower attack now. Prepare yourself for an unhealthy dose of spells. Let's fight. One nil to the pesky bear. More lasers are required. How do I switch them all on? This one? Lovely. Here we go again. Alright, yeah. I remember she moves counterclockwise now, so I wasn't in danger there. Ouch. Who lives in the enormous egg just outside Heggy the Hen? I remembered that one. Unless it's a truly obscure question like how many stars are painted on Madame Grunty's tent, then I'm gonna I'm probably gonna know it. I love this game a little too much. Darn it, hit the honeycomb. Ugh, not again! Time for something new, methinks. Plenty more tricks left in this beauty! Activate the Mortar Cannon! Bombs away! And to think I used to think... <laughs> to think I used to need Wonder Wing to get past that attack is really easy to deal without it. How many tents were there in Witchy World? Uh, there was Madame Grunty's tent, and that was just it. What? Oh, it Wrong answer! You'll be facing my faster attack now. Are they counting Wumpa's Wigwam? That's not technically a tent, but... Whew! Can't believe I avoided that spell. Uh-oh. I didn't hurt her all, the, all that I needed to. Which Jinjo family had the most members? The Black family. Technically, it's theorized that the Gray family had ten members, which makes sense, but they all died. I need more firepower! Bring out the other Mortar Cannon! Double bombs away! Grunty, I failed to see how this is, like, any more intimidating than one Mortar Cannon. What was on the empty bottle in the trash can? Oh, um... Jolly's Juice? I actually didn't remember that, so that was a pure guess. Why, why is it so hard to hit the honeycombs when you're in first person mode? Fetch the cannons back in! Open the exhaust port! Oh yes! Feel the power of that V-10 beast! Crank the drill up! Let's get him! Ouch. Thank goodness she does give out health refills during the fight. Who was in the painting in Pono's Emporium? Uh... Nope. Oh no, it was Brentilda, wasn't it? Shoot. Ouch. Alright, 
Now the exhaust is gonna malfunction. So clockwork time. We'll pull up the one on the left first this time. Doesn't matter which order you do it in. Eh? I heard an explosion! What's that burning smell? Save me, Wonder Wing. Epic music for the Hag One, by the way. What is the total number of legs on all of Hamawama's transfer? What? Um, uh, fourteen. Nope. I just went to the middle of the number. Okay. Uh-oh. Thank goodness. Alright. <laughs> you have to get in there really fast before the exhaust starts coming out. Boom! Okay, cool. That's the toughest part of the fight over with. The rest of it is fairly easy. Oh no! We're losing power! No! Don't stop, Mr. Drill! My lovely lasers! Ah, uh, can someone phone for a tow truck? Right, that's it! I've had enough! We fight to the death! Have we got any more tricks left? Ah yes, the minions! There he goes! Go get them, doofus! You're trusting the minions to help out? The Beedo guys? Different minions. Not that the Booger Beans are any more impressive. Why didn't I think of this but earlier? Release the toxic gas! Mmm, cyanide and mustard gas flavor! My favorite! Oh wait, I forgot, there's also still when she's at 1 HP. And we have to make her drop the spell. Oh. Oh no, that is not what I wanted! Wait, Booger Bean. Okay, numbskulls, time for the biggest, baddest spell I can muster. Prepare to join your buddy bottles. You'll wish you had never taken on the mighty Gruntoga Winky Bunyan. Winky Bunyan? Is that your last name then? Ah, uh, um, no, of course not. But don't you go telling anyone or I'll sue you. Whatever you say, Winky. Now die! This part's gonna be tough. Oh, never mind. We uh, got it. Ah! Oh no! Ah, uh, the spell! I've dropped it! Quick! Somebody get rid of it before it. Oh my gosh. What a final boss. <laughs> All right, that's I think the officially everything I can show off in this game There are a bunch of like little sequence breaks you can do throughout the game I've tried to show off a bunch of them, but a lot of them I just was not able to for example grunty industries There are tons of ways to get to the different floors at different times by using a variety of um, Either secrets or just flat-out glitches, but you'll have to watch a speed run of the game for that I guess that's one final thing. I want to say um I, I was interested in, in speedruns of this game, but honestly, a lot of them are really disappointing because basically every speedrun just, it's like, oh, we can fight the final boss and replay and then we, we beat the game. It's like, no, that's not how that works. You don't get to unlock the replay stuff until you've beaten the game. So 
I feel like if you want to speed run, the, I don't, they don't literally just immediately go to replay, but they basically like wrong warp into the replay final boss, but then that counts as the actual final boss. But again, it requires you to have already beaten the game on your file before you can do it. I feel like speedruns, you should have to start with a clean copy of the game and be able to pull it off. Eh, but that's just minor griping. I feel like 100% speedruns are a lot more enjoyable for this. Anyhow, that's it for Banjo-Tooie. That is, I believe, everything I can show off. Maybe multiplayer, but probably not. Just, I'll just say it. Probably not. Can we even, like... Oh, you cannot play multiplayer with only one controller. Okay. Yeah. The multiplayer, you I think you can play some of the minigames together. You can do, like, the Tower of Tragedy quiz, I know. And the main thing is that you can do, like, first-person shooter death matches in the various FPS sections, which is, sounds kind of cool, and it is to a certain extent, but it's like it's it's no golden eye, we'll just say that. Anyhow, that's it for Banjo Tooie, everybody. Thank you all for joining me on this incredible journey. This is definitely one of my favorite games of all time. I'm really glad I was able to show it off, and yeah. We did everything. We got 100%. We even did the boss rush in replay mode, which was fantastic. Thank you for watching, everybody. It's been an honor having you all here. Tune in for my next Let's Play. It's going to be a lot of fun. Maybe I'll do a challenge mode of Banjo-Tooie on, like, stream sometime. I'm kind of curious. To, there is a way to beat the game only jumping five times in the entire game. I'm kind of curious to see if I can do that. But, uh, we'll see. Just, we'll, we'll just have to wait and see. No promises, but that might be something that comes in the future. Anyhow, until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and may God bless you wherever you are.